Hello everyone and welcome to part 9. Now, uh, we left things where everything was working just fine, but uh, when I was not recording, I went ahead and loaded some uh, different new, new sprites. The difference between these sprites and the previous ones is that this is a little bit bigger and uh, the size is the same, the sprite is 64, but inside the sprite it was like uh, 4 pixels smaller. And why is that? It's because I want to add some uh, tiny animations. Well, what are these animations? If you come to Object Candy, now we are going to work on the super match, which is this match 5. Great. So, um, we were setting this in alarm, I think. I even forgot. I think it's alarm 1. Yes. Here. So, sprite index equals mo uh, match 5. And when we destroy this, well, here we don't destroy anything. Great. What I want to do is, I want to create a global variable. So if you come here to object brain in the create event, we can have global var and we say, for example, busy and set busy to true. Then we can use this inside our code. Actually, we can do the same for bx and by. We can say bx and by here and set them to zero. And delete them from here. And if you come to the destroy, I believe, yes, you have to remove these globals. Yes. All right. I believe that's it. Okay, so once we are here and once we swipe, actually what we want to do is we want to immediately change before before even swapping like once we swap if we already know that this instant this object is is a super match a match 5 we want to immediately uh, just to do the action so let's say if c power is 3 okay then we want to do something else if it's not true we want to check for these objects great uh, first we have to get the other candy so we say um, what we are using in the object swap alright we need a global variable for that and the global variable would be super super mesh equals zero. Okay. And we add it here super match. Okay. Here we want to set the super match. So we say uh, we just go ahead and Actually, we don't even need to go ahead and change anything. We can say t candy dot i. We just say super match equals target candy dot y. Okay, and um, with object 
candy if i is equal to super super match then alarm zero equals to delay so what we are doing is if we are a, a, a super if we, if we have this candy the match five candy and if we swap this candy with any candy basically we want to destroy any candy with a similar color or shape or whatever so what we do is we get the color of the candy and you know that we assigned the color or the type of the candy to this i variable so we get the target candies i and we set the super match to this uh, candy's color and we go through every single candy and we check if it is uh, uh, if its uh, color is equal to the super match which is our target candy then we just destroy it okay good then here we want to no, after this we, we will just go and exit actually and not just this we will say i equals super match because we want to destroy our candy too actually we can set set it right here but ah, let it be all right so actually you can you can remove this and make an animation like it does something special and we can do lots of things but let's just test this for now so the problem is finding a match 5 so let me just solve this and let's set the delay to 5 let's come here and say oh by the way we have left pressed on left released okay I want to set everything back so where do you go if left press if stable then this and that so we want to copy this Okay, and say if md is less than 32 then uncheck all this so we say let's set this to zero oh, these are not even important but this would be false and this would be true so what we want to do is add mouse right click so where did it go right pressed and here we want to say instance destroy and this is just for testing we want to remove this after finishing this so I want to match five instances okay in order to achieve that let me just find a five okay now I have prepared this now I have these four uh, candies and if I swap this we got the candy but it got destroyed why oh, I think because it goes through the step event and it finds out that we are similar to this and well this is not the best thing so the problem was um, when we are changing the candy to a super match it will it was still holding the the eye so when other candies checks uh, itself with this candy and let's say that this candy was yellow and both of them were yellow 
it will destroy this uh, candy so we don't want this to happen now to fix that you want to come here and um, not in find match oh yeah in find match here wh where you set the here where you set this power you want to change the i so you say i equals let's uh, let's set this to six because we don't have six we have from zero to five so we set this to six and same thing here i equals six good fantastic so if I repeat this <coughs> here we had this this and this and if I bring this down okay so if I swap this this will remain and when these two fall they are yellow and they check themselves with this one which is yellow and they get destroyed but if I, now that I change the index of this, it should not happen. So you see, everything is just fine. And now this is a super match. And what I want to do is I want when when I destroy, when I swap these two, every yellow uh, instance should disappear. And in order to know that, let's look at these guys and they should disappear from the board so let's test this so nothing happened pretty much and uh, that's strange so the problem is when we swapped right now the other candy was checking for matching candies and I think somehow it detected three candies and it executed the matching script and discarded this uh, match 5 candy and that was the problem so how to fix that is a new hustle <laughs> so let's come here and see how we can do this so when we are swapping okay actually let's do it right here even before swapping or or you know what I will just stop the video here and we will continue this in the next video so thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one